we shall reflect on the life of St. James the Greater. St. James and his younger brother, St. John the Evangelist, were the sons of Zebedee, a prosperous fisherman by the Lake of Galilee. Their mother was Salome, believed by some to have been a sister of the Blessed Virgin, in which case the two brothers, the sons of Thunder, would have been first cousins of our Lord. They assisted their father in his fishing and were in partnership with Simon Peter and his brother Andrew. These four young men seem to have enjoyed pride of place among the apostles, which may perhaps account for Salome's request that Jesus assign to James and John the chief places in his kingdom. Since Peter, James and John were the only ones privileged to witness our Lord raising to life the daughter of Jairus, his transfiguration and finally his agony in Gethsemane. St. James the Greater, so named probably due to his having been of higher stature than St. James the Less, was the first apostle to be martyred. Herod Agrippa I, a grandson of Herod the Great, who had massacred the Holy Innocents, was trying in every way to please the Jews, and in the year 43 had James arrested as one of the leading men in the rapidly growing church. He had him beheaded, and according to an ancient tradition dating back to Clement of Alexandria, it says that with him suffered the very man who had accused James before Agrippa, for he had become converted by the apostles' fearless profession of faith. Another tradition, current since the 9th century, claims that St. James preached in Spain and that his body was brought to Compostela in the northwestern corner of the Iberian Peninsula. Here, his shrine became in medieval times one of the greatest pilgrimage centers of Christendom. To this day, the very fact of visiting Spain at all remains disputed. Nevertheless, he continues to be revered as the patron saint of Spain and Chile, of druggists, pilgrims and porters, and is invoked in times of war and against rheumatism.